Welcome to the 21st tutorial on beginning CSS. In this video, we're going to take a look at the background image property. So let's go ahead and open up our web page. Now, this is different from a regular image that we display on our site. A background image goes inside a element, and it's exactly that. It's in the background of the element, so this text will be in front of it. And it can really make your elements look very snazzy. Now, I'm going to use this photograph of clouds. Now, what you can do is you can go out to Google and type in cloud patterns CSS. And that should bring up some uh, cloud patterns if you want to follow along with this tutorial. So let's close that out and let's go into our source. So let's go to the style sheet and let's put this background image in the paragraph three element. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now this is the property right here, background hyphen image. And then you have to have URL and then in parentheses is where you put the location of the image. Now this image is in the same folder as our style sheet. Everything's in our website folder, so it'll just find this name. Now if you were pulling in an image from the web, you would actually put an HTTP URL in here. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and save this, and let's open up our index page. And there you can see we've got our background cloud pattern now, and that looks, that looks pretty good, I think. Um, now let's go ahead and actually apply it to the entire body. So let's uh, let's go ahead and um, let's see what that looks like. So we'll go up to the body section. Let's put that in here. We'll save it. And yeah, you know what? That looks actually even better. That looks pretty pretty good. But let's actually remove that and we'll keep that in our paragraph element. So we'll just remove that, put it back in our paragraph three, and we'll save this and we're back to normal. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video.